to be helping you today with the standing separate leg stretching pose in the Bikram Yoga series. So we're going to give you the proper form of how this sh posture should be done. Are you ready? Awesome. All right, standing separate leg stretching. Arms over the head sideways, right foot steps to the right. So you want to take a very big step, minimum four foot distance in between your feet. At the same time, arms come down parallel with the floor. Two heels should be in one line with a good alignment. Slightly pigeon toe the toes in towards each other. This is going to help with any, any slipping. Um, for those of you with the sciatic issue, sciatica, you're going to want to keep your toes facing directly straight. So never toes up, toes straight, slightly pigeon toe, two heels in one line. So legs are straight, arms are out, arms are straight. Exhale, breathing slowly, bend your body forward from your lower spine. So the chest is forward, the arms are out, spine is straight, stomach is in. When you can't see yourself anymore, grab the heels from the outside. So always the goal first, grab the heels from the outside for the really good grip. Just like in standing hands to feet from the outside, step on all five fingers of each of your hands. Pull on your heels, stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Keep your chin forward, keep looking forward, keep your chest forward because eventually you're going to get your forehead to touch the floor in between the feet. Roll the body weight forward into the balls of your feet. Bring your elbows in and close to the shin. So for some of us with a little bit more flexibility, we're gonna go a little deeper, a little sooner. The arms and elbows are gonna bend in close to the shins, which is going to bring the forehead on the floor. Standing separate leg stretching. So just to give you an idea as to what it looks like from the side, we're gonna look at the knees, the legs being straight. We're going to look at alignment of the spine and how straight the spine and the upper body is. We're gonna get a good idea as to where the shoulders and the chest are in this posture as well. And we're also gonna give you that option that if you cannot physically grab your heels, we say it in the dialogue, you can grab the outsides of the feet. So it's a lot easier to see from the side. So we'll show you that in this video. All right, feet together nicely, arms over the head sideways. Right foot steps to the right, big step. Again, always four foot minimum distance between the feet. Kind of the taller you are, the wider the step. So the arms, same thing, parallel to the floor. Slightly vision to the toes, suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing slowly, bend your body forward. Again, chest is forward, arms are out, spine straight, stomach in all the way down. Leg straight position, grab your heels from the outside, underneath your heels. This is where we get the really good grip. We're going to start to gently pull on the heels so we can stretch the body down from the lower spine. Keep the chin forward, the eyes forward, looking forward. And as you pull, again, if you are one of those flexible people, elbows pulling in and close to the shins. The body's gonna roll forward slightly, body weight into the balls of the feet, the toes, leg, thigh muscles, nice, tight, solid contractions. There's nothing loose, nothing hanging. You're gonna feel a stretch down the back of the legs, in the lower spine, eventually the whole entire spine, and eventually, whole entire body stretching from coccyx to the toes, coccyx all the way down to the forehead. Eventually the forehead touching the floor between the feet. Change. So Rebecca, now that you've practiced standing separate leg stretching, what's your most favorite part about the posture? For this posture, I love how it helps me feel energized to prepare for a triangle pose. So that posture is like a mini inversion. We don't do actual inversions in the practice, you know, headstands, handstands, anything like this, but this is a great posture that um, simulates that blood flow to the brain. What do you like about this posture? I really enjoy practicing this posture because I love the sensation and feeling that I get down the back side of my body. So my legs, my hips, my, uh, my entire spine. Um, on any given day, when I do this posture um, in class, I'll know, I can tell if uh, how open or how tight my body is. So it's a really good indicator um, of where my body is at, at that day. Awesome. Let us know what your favorite part of this posture is. 